Picture a serene marsh where a mother alligator lies motionless and her watchful eyes scanning the surroundings for potential threats to her nest. This is just one of the many striking visuals you'll encounter as we embark on a journey through an alligator's life cycle, from egg to hatchling and beyond. How does a top predator begin life in such a fragile state? You'll be amazed to know that only about 20% of baby alligators survive their first year. Yet, these amazing reptiles have thrived for millions of years. In this video, we'll explore the incredible process of how alligators develop, from the mother's nest building to the perils faced by young hatchlings. Get ready to be amazed by the world of these scaly survivors. Where witnesses found this almost 14-foot gator with a body in its mouth this afternoon. Today, we're here to talk about our reptilian neighbors and dispel some common myths about these scaly creatures. Alligators can be found throughout Alabama in one of the best places in the And I just saw the gator. <laughs> The mother alligator is on an adventurous mission to find the perfect spot to build her nest, a safe location close to the water. She navigates through the marshy areas, carefully searching for just the right place. There are all sorts of wetland habitats in the area where the alligators come and go. Female alligators are quite selective about where they lay their eggs, choosing nesty sites in marshes for some very important reasons. They live in freshwater areas like ponds, marshes, rivers, and lakes. These wetlands provide protection and are also close to water sources, allowing the mother to stay nearby and still find food and stay safe. Once she finds a perfect spot, the mother gator gets to work. She gathers mud, sticks, leaves, and other plants, piling them together to create a big mound. The nest can be as wide as 10 feet and as tall as 3 feet, about the size of a small car. The nest plays a crucial role in helping the eggs develop. The decaying plants and vegetation the mother uses to build a nest give off heat, maintaining the perfect temperature for the baby alligators to grow inside their eggs. It's like a natural incubator. Um, it almost creates like a composting system and it creates heat which acts as a natural incubator. After building the nest, the mother delicately lays her eggs inside, usually laying between 20 to 50 eggs, but sometimes even up to 90 eggs in one nest. Once the eggs are safely nestled, she covers them up with more plants to keep them cozy and warm. It's easy to understand that the mother alligator really puts her heart into making her nest, ensuring her babies will be safe and have access to the resources they'll need. The waiting game now begins. The eggs will stay in the nest for about 65 days before they're ready to hatch. And get this, the temperature of the nest during this incubation period plays a major role in determining whether the baby alligators will be born as males or females. Isn't that amazing? The eggs sit comfortable in the nest for about 65 days. That's over two months, but there's a lot going on inside those little eggs. And believe it or not, the nest temperature plays a big part in deciding that the babies will be boys or girls. You see, alligator eggs are special. They go through a fascinating biological phenomenon known as temperature-dependent sex determination. The sex of the hatchlings is determined by the temperature at which the eggs are incubated. If the nest temperature exceeds 93 degrees Fahrenheit, the majority of the eggs will yield male alligators. On the other hand, if the temperature falls below 86 degrees, the hatchlings will predominantly be female. Nest temperatures range between 82 and 90 degrees, result in a diverse mix of both male and female alligators. This natural mechanism ensures a balanced population of male and female alligators, contributing to the sustainability of the species. Additionally, the environment and weather also affect the nest warmth, so these factors control whether the babies are brothers or sisters. The mother gator doesn't just leave the eggs gender up to chance though. As mentioned earlier, she's very careful about where she makes her nest. She picks a good spot that will keep the eggs at the perfect temperature. The composting plants in the nest also give off heat. This helps to warm the eggs just right. So when the nest is a bit cooler, more females will hatch. This might happen in a shady spot or if the weather is mild. But when the nest is really warm, like in direct sunlight or during a hot summer, more males are born. It's incredible to think that just a few degrees can make such a big difference. Whether an alligator grows up to be male or female all depends on how warm or 
cool their egg was. That temperature is the key to their identity. As the weeks pass, the baby gators keep growing inside their eggs. The nest temperature is working its magic, deciding who will be boys and who will be girls. But the eggs aren't the only ones changing during this time. The mother alligator is also preparing for her baby's arrival. For the whole 65 days, the mother stays close to her nest. She is always on the lookout, guarding her precious eggs. The nest might be hidden, but it still faces many dangers. Hungry predators like raccoons and birds would love to snack on those eggs. So the mother alligator must be vigilant. As the weeks go by, the baby alligators keep growing inside their shells. When they're almost ready to hatch, they start making noises. They let out little chirps and peeps. This is their way of telling their mom, we're coming out. The mother alligator hears her babies calling. She knows it's time to help them hatch. She uses her big jaws to uncover the nest. When she gently picks up each egg in her mouth, she rolls it around until the shell starts to crack. As each baby gator breaks free from its egg, the mother helps it along. If a hatchling is having a hard time getting out, she uses her teeth to carefully make the crack bigger. She does this until all her babies have hatched. The mother alligator is very gentle with her newly hatched young. She would never hurt them with her big teeth. Instead, she uses her mouth to carry them to the water. Despite having the most powerful bite in nature, she carefully gathers them in a throat pouch beneath a stockade of deadly teeth. Sometimes, she even lets them ride on her back. The babies are very small and vulnerable when they first hatch. They need their mother's protection to survive. She stays with them in the water, keeping a close watch. If any predators come near, she is ready to defend her young children. Many animals see the tiny hatchlings as an easy meal. Birds, fish, and even other alligators might try to eat them. But the mother alligator is always there to keep her babies safe. Her fierce determination gives them a fighting chance at survival. It's incredible to see how dedicated the mother alligator is. She works very hard to give her young the best start in life. From building the perfect nest to guarding the eggs and helping the hatchlings, she never stops watching over them. The first few days and weeks are the most dangerous for the baby alligators. They face many challenges as they learn to navigate their new world. Predators lurk around every corner, ready to make a meal out of the timely hatchlings. Even the environment itself can be a threat. The babies must learn to find food, avoid danger, and grow big and strong. But with their mother by their side, they have a much better chance of making it through these early trials. The road ahead is long and full of perils, but these little alligators are fighters, ready to beat the odds and grow into powerful predators they were born to be. The baby gators have a tough road ahead. Only about 20% will make it past the first few years. That's because danger is all around them. From the moment they crawl out of their eggs, these little ones have to watch out. Lots of animals think baby gators make a tasty snack. Birds swoop down from the sky to grab them. Raccoons and other critters try to snatch them up. Even big fish and grown-up gators see them as food. It's not just the animals that make life hard for the hatchlings. The world around them can be tough too. They have to deal with things like finding food and staying safe. It's a lot for a little gator to handle. That's why these babies stick close to their mom. She keeps them safe from harm. The young gators stay with their mother for up to three whole years. During that period, she shows them the ropes and protects them from threats. Mama gator is always on the lookout. She knows that predators would love to gobble up her little ones. So she stays close and ready to to defend them. If anything gets too close, she jumps into action. The hatchlings also have to learn how to take care of themselves. They start by eating tiny animals like insects and tadpoles. As they get bigger, they can hunt for small fish and frogs. But even with their mom's help, many baby gators still won't make it. Only the strongest and luckiest ones grew up to be big gators. It's a rough start to life, but that's just how it is in the wild. The small size of the hatchlings makes them easy targets. They're bite-sized snacks for lots of predators. Birds and small mammals are some of the biggest threats. These animals are always on the prowl for defenseless baby gators. The little ones have to be quick and clever to avoid becoming someone's dinner. They learn to hide in plants and stay very still. Their stripes and greenish color help them blend in with their swampy home. As the hatchlings get a bit older, they face even more dangers. Bigger predators start to take notice of them. Alligators are cannibals, so the young must watch out for adults of their own kind too. So, 
you can understand that life is never easy for a baby gator. Every day is a struggle to survive, but these tough little reptiles keep fighting. They have to if they want to make it to adulthood. With each passing month, the young alligators learn and grow. They get better at hunting and avoiding danger. Slowly but surely, they start to master the skills they need to survive in the wild. The little gators are growing up fast. Every day, they get bigger and bigger. It's incredible. In just one year, they can grow a whole foot. They keep growing like this for a while until they're too big for most predators to eat. It's such a relief for these young alligators to know they're outgrowing the danger. As young gators grow, they embark on a thrilling learning adventure. They sharpen their hunting skills, starting with small prey like bugs and tiny fish. But as these reptiles grow, their challenges increase too. They fearlessly target larger prey such as frogs and bigger fish, honing their prowess as expert hunters. It's an exciting journey to witness their transformation into skilled predators. The young alligators are on a fascinating journey to master the art of staying safe in their environment. They are eagerly learning how to outwit danger and hide from potential threats, with their wise mother guiding them every step of the way. She expertly demonstrates the best hiding spots in the water, and the young alligators are captivated as they watch and learn. These skills they are picking up are are like secret superpowers that will help them thrive in their wild, watery world. After spending several years under the nurturing care of their mother, the young alligators are finally ready to venture into the world on their own. Their formidable size and strength, acquired through their mother's guidance, have equipped them to navigate the challenges of independent living. With a mix of apprehension and excitement, the juvenile alligators set out to explore the vast expanse of the swamp, seeking to establish their territory and carve out a place for themselves amidst the tangled vegetation and murky water. These juvenile alligators are still facing challenges, but they have undergone significant growth and development, equipping them with the necessary size and skills to become self-sufficient. With time, they continue to mature and acquire knowledge, ultimately ascending to the position of apex predators in their aquatic ecosystem. As the juvenile alligators emerge from the safety of their mother's care, they are met with a world full of intriguing new experiences and formidable obstacles. To overcome. Each day presents fresh opportunities for them to learn, grow, and adapt to their environment. The foundation must skills navigate they acquire the during their formative years will the swamp. prove invaluable they will as they progress through this trials, crucial stage in their drop on their resilience the journey and ahead is a challenging one for these young well alligators. To face these challenges. Having been nurtured by their mother's care and fueled by their unwavering determination, these tenacious alligators are truly resilient survivors, poised to conquer the trials that await them in their journey to adulthood. The journey of alligators is incredible, from tiny eggs to strong hunters. They fight hard to survive and thrive, and each step of their growth is important for the challenges ahead. Alligators are an essential part of the swamp circle of life, maintaining balance and making their home healthy. They are not just scary predators, but also survivors with an incredible life story. If you enjoyed learning about these amazing reptiles, press the like and subscribe button for regular updates. Also, we will bring the same type of videos in the future.